Hello, good morning. Catfish farmers. We are live now. Um, I did, uh, we did this practical day before yesterday. If you have been following us on our channel, if you have been following us on our channel, this is a uh, 48 hours. It's 48 hours. It's 48 hours from that time we did this hashing. And immediately, this uh, your hashing start uh, when they start shaking from the kakaban. When they started shaking, immediately you notice them started shaking. Maybe after 12 hours that you notice that they have started shaking, you have to start running water. Water is already running and it's already living here. The water is living from this end. If you check, you can see some bubble inside the net, inside the uh, sieve. This is because of a result of water pollution that is being removed from the pond so it's important you run water and the kakaban is still inside here i want to show you how to remove the kakaban if you can see if you are doing hashing for the first time if you see some white white eggs like this you don't have to panic these ones are the ones that are not matured or the ones that have already dead before you started their hashing so you, have, you don't have to be to panic about it because the tin have hashed already and they have dropped over the over the nets when i remove this net i will try to see if i can show you some of them they are very very tiny like ants that is how they look so what i have to do now this is 48 hours <coughs> the reason of removing this kakaban if you leave it here this dead eggs is going to cause pollution to this uh, hashri pond and the result is this all the fries will die so it's important you remove this kakaban with all the dead eggs that are still stick on it and again if you watch uh, very well you know that if you are doing the hashing on your own if you watch closely you will still see some some fries on top of the this net that you are trying to remove so what you have to do you have to need you need a strap pond after removing this kakaban you place it in another pond after some time all those ones will also drop out like this one now i will i will remove this kakaban now and place it in this pond this empty pond so that the rest of the so that the rest of the fries that are still stick to this thing, this kakaban, they also drop there. Then maybe after like in the evening, after six hours, I now remove this kakaban entirely from the pond. So if you are not, if you are getting value for our video, and this is your first time of joining us, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have not, if you don't know when we started, Go back to my channel, you will see this is part 3 of this hashing. I promise, because some people have been telling me, please, can you redo this uh, hashing practically step by step so that they can learn. So, I promise them that I will do it step by step. And that is what um, I'm doing. This is the part 3. So, go to the channel, start from the day 1 and check the practical from day 1 to today. This is the number 3 the part three of this uh, practical so that is what i'm doing now so follow me now and see how i will remove this net from from this pond after that i will show you the fries that have already hashed that are under this kakaban come on this thing the video on this thing This is the kakaban now. I'll remove it. Some uh, some some of the fries are still on this kakaban. 
So what I have to do, I have to shake it a little. Don't over shake it because if you shake it too much, all this dead egg will drop inside that pond, and it's not good for this pond. I will shake it a little so that the one that are hanging there can fall out easily. Before I will remove this thing, just a little shaking. Then I'll put I'll put this thing out. Look at them, they are dropping. I don't you cannot see they are small. That's the problem. But I'll try everything possible to see if can if I can show you the fries. Let me remove this thing. Make sure that your water is running. If you can see the water, you will see some, some bubble inside the water. The water is starting to pollute, so you have to be running water constantly 247 for six weeks. It's not easy, but it's important. Go like this, go like this, and, and watch me cross over. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold it. So I still have some fries on this net. So I will drop it gently inside this one. They will let that drop there. I will still feel water to make it up to that level. Normally, you will not get everything. Some will die. That is normal. After ashing, many or many will still go, and you still get some. So there is nothing you can do about that. Like now, look at this eggs. We still have some dead eggs. So there is nothing you can do about it. So come, let me show you. I have some fries here now. Do you have touch light? Give me touch light. Look at them. I will, I will point this torch down there to see if you can see them. You can you can only watch closely and you see them. Of this water is making noise. Of this one, of this one, you can finish a star on the water. Show this light in and let's see if can you can see this thing very well. Please, if you can watch closely, you will see them. Look at them. They will be trying to be hiding somewhere. Look at them. There are many. I'll go around the pond, you'll be seeing them. Look at them. These are the fires. Look at this place. They will, they will be looking for a hidden place. Let me see that light. This light should be okay. Are you seeing them? Are you seeing the fries? As you are seeing them now, they are many. They are many in number. But in the, the first day, if you check them, it will look as if they are not many like that. But after three days now, uh, the, fourth, the fourth day, I will video them and show you how they look like. You will see this pond will full. They like gathering together. Look at this place now. What I'm seeing there. Is more than hundred thousand, uh, more than ten thousand day. They are mini day. So I'm using this one as illustration purpose. If you want to do hashing, that maybe you want to use it, do it as a business. It depends on how many fish you hash like how many fish you are willing to 
produce so if you want to produce plenty fingerlings you have to you have to use many fish like two or three fish to do that so i have a lot of them here now they're already swimming so so that is it for now and i have to start running my water it's important to start running water you don't stop running water on this pond water will keep running here so this is the hardest part of this thing you keep on running water if you don't have electricity you find out that you'll be spending much money you find out that you'll be spending much money you'll be spending much money on on uh, on fuel to trying to pump water or if you have electricity it will be easy for you so you have to be pumping water because this water will be running like this two four seven for at least six weeks so that is it so i'm coming to the end of this live broadcast and if you haven't subscribed to our channel this is the first time you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to get any updates that is coming to, from this channel what i give you is undiluted information about fish farming we have many things coming so if you haven't turned on the notification please do so by turning on the notification and if you are a previous subscriber and you still have any question you can drop it on the comment section i will attend to it Thank you for watching and God bless you. Bye bye.